Hello and welcome to section 6, score-based algorithms, the BIC score. We already saw a couple of scores, the likelihood, the Bayesian, to measure the goodness of fit of a, of a structure. Now, can we somehow prioritize simpler structures, meaning those with the fewer number of edges? For example, can we penalize the edge between COVID and mask in the following structure? Then obviously simpler a simpler model when there is no link between them will be prioritized to answer this question let's define the model dimension dim g as the number of independent parameters in the dag g this is capturing the model complexity we have the following proposition given a Dirichlet parameter prior p of theta g condition on g as the data size in, uh, converges to infinity, then log of the marginal likelihood can be written as the log of the likelihood, the maximum likelihood estimate, minus 1 over 2 log of the data size times dimension of g plus an order of one other terms. So what does this mean? It is translating the marginal likelihood that we saw in the previous section to the likelihood and to the complexity of the model. The log likelihood term, this the first term, this one measures the fit to data and the second term here, this measures the model complexity. So the approximation trades off between data fitting and model complexity. And this is why this approximation is considered as a separate score. It is called the BIC, the Bayesian Information Criterion Score. It's equal to the log likelihood minus 1 over 2 log n times dimension of g. So you see that it's penalizing the complexity of the model. By substituting the expression for the likelihood score, this is what I get for the BIC score. The mutual inter information terms, the entropy terms, and the model complexity times log n. The entropy terms are irrelevant to the structure. We already discussed this in the likelihood score. Mutual information, re which represents fit to data, this one grows linearly, whereas model complexity grows log logarithmically with the data size. Okay, so log n here and n here. So for small data sets, simpler models are preferred because log of n is greater than n, and me meaning that it's, uh, it's penalizing more, the model. However, when the data size increases, uh, so does the preference for more complex models because then this term will go down, and it's with a negative sign, and this one, the goodness of fit, will be preferred. So. What does this imply? Does it mean that as the data set increases, a fully connected DAG will be preferred as in the likelihood score? Now, in order to answer this, note that desirably the true DAG should maximize the score in large data sets. So let's define the notion of consistent scores. Let G star be a PMAP for P, assume that N data instances are sampled from this distribution. So meaning that our data set is from here and it's not noisy. The scoring function is consistent if the following holds as N goes to infinity with probability that approaches one. This is basically almost surely. G star, should ma G star maximizes the score again as data size approaches infinity and all other structures that are not I equivalent to G star will score lower. So this basically means that for large enough data instances the PMAP will maximize the score and no other score uh, which is not I equivalent to G star will have that maximum score. This is ideally what we want. Now Corollary, score BIC and score B, the BIC and the Bayesian score, are consistent. That is great. So it means that for large, very large data sets, 
we expect BIC and base the Bayesian score to return the true network, of course, if all the above conditions are met. So it is not true back just here that uh, what we said that, okay, it's prioritizing more complex models at the data size increases. It doesn't mean that it will eventually prioritize the fully connected DAC. Okay. Great. So back to our question, can we somehow penalize this edge? And the answer is yes, we can do that using the BIC score. How can we calculate it? Well, it's basically the same as the likelihood score, just with this additional complexity term. So we can do all the math as in the previous case. It's basically a copy and paste. We have this first term, which we can calculate as in this form. And then we just need to add this additional term. We have 12 instances, so log of 12 divided by 2. What is dime of g, the dimension, the number of independent parameters? Well, we have mask without any parents, so there's just one. It's a binary variable. We just need one parameter. For COVID, we have one, one parent, which is binary. Both of them are binary, so we just have two additional parameters here. So total, it will be three. And by doing this, we will get this final value as our BIC score. Great, back to the summary. We saw the likelihood score, we saw the Bayesian score, and now we see the BIC score here. It just appeared that this network also was preferred by BIC. Thank you.